All right, okay. Let's try going back to uh, Johnny Ivory's. I should probably try taking pictures of everyone. Say cheese. Hooray! Oh, it's a bonus photograph. Okay. I thought maybe I should figure out what his name is and then... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Do I take a picture of the photo? The piano? I don't need a picture. Okay. The table? I don't need a Okay. Alright. I guess we could try to take a picture of uh, the guy that uh, used to book him. Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. I'm going to take a picture of you, Dwayne. Say cheese. Oh, okay, it's just a bonus photograph again. All right, okay. God damn it. Hi again. Did I ask him about the again? C sharps? So you don't know what happened to the C sharps? I don't know. They moved on or broke up. It happened. What? What? What was the sax player's name? Yeah. Uh, well, it was a long time ago. Oh, come on. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. Uh, I only deal with the leader, you know? What's the leader's name? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? It was a while ago. Oh, come on. I don't suppose you know it. Cons yeah, okay. So you don't... I don't think... God. Are you sure? Yeah. Quiet fella. Born to play the sax. That's oh, all I there know. was more. Damn it. All right, fine. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. Oh, God on. damn it. That doesn't help me at all. Doesn't seem like anything else to do here. I can't talk. Nah. Two music joints. I'm liking this kid. Huh. It's all the same. I'll I don't just float. I gotta keep some. Okay, whatever. How do I only have these three things and I don't know what to do? Go to the door. Go. Go through the door. Do we need to offer the thing of the dude to smoke? Uh. Hey, ghost, you smoke? I don't think he'd want that. Okay, fine. It's my lighter. What about... Pack of cigarettes. Stop. Queensboro. Stop. Pick up the lighter. I don't think... That's some... I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. I already have a... Alright, that's, that's good. E uh... How come I can't access those photos? Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. But I think a more direct approach is required. God damn it. God damn it. God, why can't I piece this together? I want to I record the ghost, but it won't let it's me. A sex of this is a little record. I've been using... Oh. Put it away. about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Uh -huh. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. Forgot to look at these. That was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. Okay. Well, shit. Why does no one know anybody's name? Like, I don't get it. Uh... What am I- what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's go in here again. I'm going in again- Yeah, yeah. Go in here. I'm gonna remember this goddamn name. There's not much. Let's take a. Harriet Sherman. Two R's. 
I.E.T. Sherman. Harriet Sherman. Okay. Wait, I already forgot. I already forgot. Oh my god. There's not much I Just look at it, god damn it. H A H A R R I E T. Okay. Just quickly go look this up. This is, that's the only thing I can think of. Is just look up that, that name. Broad... You should try flap. Uh, go back to Lauren. Go home. Not the couch. I'm not ready. All right. Harriet Sherman. Got her. There's there we a phone go. Number, but no address. Oh, come on. Well, what's the phone number? Did you write it down? Why is that not pertinent? Can I not do anything with that? S seriously? I already looked that up. Okay, that's great. Last time I counted, I had. I'll save it. Okay. It's my ring. I put some money in here whenever. It's a trick I learned from my. There's around sixty dollars. All right, that's great. That's I want to talk to you, Jim. Uh huh. I'm still mad, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. Huh. Hi, Jack. Nothing springs to mind. Oh. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk. Can we look at the C sharps on in the phone book? There's no entry for that. <laughs> I didn't think so. We've already we don't I'm not ready for it. Ah, uh, god damn it. Oh, I can call people. All right, let's call Let's call John Johnny Ivory's busy. I better go over there in person. No, oh, whatever. Busy. I better go over there in person. Uh. Ooh. Hello? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren That's a fake old lady voice. Want? from Seagram Realty. Oh! Why didn't you say? You've got my sixty dollars. Um. Yes. Yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple. Of oh, questions. sixty dollars. Get fine, it? Fine, sixty dollars. Fine. And I'll answer whatever you want. Twenty-four Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Jim, All right, okay. Yeah. Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Alright, well at least we got another lead. Let's take my jar. Hmm. The things I'll do for a case. Hooray! Progress! Wow, let's get out of here. Right behind. In another case. Maybe one will help the other. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, look, look, it's things. Open. Look, a kitty cat. I'm back here right? In the That's kitchen. a cat, right? Looks like a Kind of like Harriet? a monkey, Mrs. but. Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind, you from Seagram Realty? Y yes. Yeah. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like after you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Oh God. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. Oh my what god. You bad? Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? Yes. Ask about so Harriet. About me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Secret Realty? Yes. Not exactly. Ah. You just no. use them as a way to get to me, huh? I guess. Yeah. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Okay. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. All right. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there. How's the old place looking? Demolished. It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! 
can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Okay. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. All right. Have you ever been to Roosevelt Island? I hardly ever leave this room. So, no. Please. Please know something about the C-Sharps, you old bat. Have you ever heard of a band named the C-Sharps? Come on, it's your favorite. No, I'm not one for music. Oh, of course you're not. Ah. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was dumb. Just gotta keep asking Plus, that until... they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So they paid you money to leave. Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building okay. was not to be condemned anyway. So everyone was grateful for the offer. Except? Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Thank you. A name. A name. <sighs> Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me. So I know so how she crazy lived in, she was. I don't know, why something. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. She still refused. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Okay. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Can you tell me anything else? Good red. I lived on All right, my... that's not all right. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. Okay, I yeah, thanks. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. Sigorophobic, okay. Feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. It's about a state of mind, not did they ever get body, Mavis but leave? whatever. Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. <laughs> left, right, left the entire world, in fact. What? I mean, she died. Yes. Someone broke in and shot her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. Shit. Call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Okay. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some stray kid, most likely. Someone must have hated was empty and went teaching typing. Was I don't left know. Over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. Uh, all the time. How well did you know Mavis? <clears throat> like I said, I lived just down the hall from her on the third floor. All right. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. Oh? I took it. Just in case a relative or something. Can I have it? But it's been six months. Nothing. Can I have it? Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Are you sure? Just this. Okay. Alright, bye bye. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much. Just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of. Yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. I guess that's everything. Don't it. Oh, I don't get to, like... I can't even pet the cat. The other game, I got to feed a, a puppy. It was awesome. Okay, uh... I guess go home. Uh, there you are. There's not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. That's all I need. Alright. Why are you... Why are you... Why are you... Okay. October 18th. Notebook updated. Okay. I didn't... That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. There's a shock. Got the farm on it. Okay, okay. Can I read this now? Okay, October 18, 1972. Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I'm returning the photograph you let me. All the best. J. Mitchell, the New Yorker, New York, New York. And then the photograph. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. 
This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. <laughs> this kid. Anything else? That. Anything else? Okay. Let's look up her number just for fun. Uh, Mavis Wilcox. Oops. There isn't a listing. Dead people usually aren't listed in the phone book, dear. This could have been an old phone book. Asshole. What'd I click on? I'm not carrying that around. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Come on. Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Let's go to the construction site. Right? All right. Uh. I'm going in again. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I can't show her the picture. Or. Hold on. Hello, Joey. What are you doing? I need. Hmm. It better. I need you to. There we go. My. I'm popular today. You're so popular. Oh, you again. Hello, Mavis. You're not in a build. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. You look at the door. If so okay. I'd like to ask. Look, I'm not going to. Who are. Oh, her husband or her son, or those are new. It's me, your son. <laughs> Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! Oh it's shit! So long. Look at you! Yeah, Kid's look name at is me. Sam! Sorry, I was Sam sorry. Wilcox! I didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I just want to ask I some, some questions. questions. I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. Yay, notebook updated! So, um... How's it going? going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own. But I get by. That's nice. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, I need you to think very Oh, carefully. I didn't want to jump to that What's one yet. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answer to the door to seeing you, of course. No, by me before that. Before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. And before that? Except for the grocer sometimes. And before and that? But who? Nobody. What? What was that? Nobody. So, Mom... How are my brothers and or sisters? <laughs> That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Yeah, just joking. Right, just checking. <laughs> How's dad, mom? Oh, Sam. You know that your father is dead. Oh, okay, thank you. John Durkin? Uh, right. Sorry. Notebook updated. Da 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 da. Okay, that's great. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. <laughs> Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. D for dead. All right, cool. Wait, how do I know that? Okay. So tell me more about yourself, Mom. Sam, since when did you become so interested? I love you, Mom. I get to know you better. Well, isn't that sweet? But I honestly don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm that boring of a person. Oh, that's sad. So, Sam, says just okay, yeah, okay. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. What? He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. Okay. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why he was so interested. All right. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confusing, Sam. <laughs> Never mind. John Durkin. You know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ten years. Uh, sorry. All right. How can you forget he was your father? <laughs> Slip my mind. You're not my son. Your mind. Just look. Forget it. <laughs> Do you know anything about a ghost on Roosevelt Island? A ghost? Sam, don't be silly. Okay. Ever listen to do you, jazz do you know about anything about music? the Z-Sharp? No, Sam, you oh. know that. Come on, Mom. 
So, Sam. Just All right, the, okay. I, just got to make sure. You're talking to a report. Yes, he came over. Let... What did you talk? Oh, about? don't know what. So what? You so never mind. Do you know what guy is that? You know he's ah. Uh, how slip stick? Just all right. Mom, are you sure? You're so look. Okay. I'm going to go. I'll come back to. Sure, sure Sam. I'll be trying to get rid of me, will they? All right. Well, at least we got a bunch, they bunch of stuff one. done. I'll give them one. Uh. Go through the gate. I'm back. You were gone. Oh, sick burn. Ouch, you gonna take that, Joey? Too bad. Uh. Phone book. Alright. Uh, John. Jan, why do we keep doing that? Dur Durkin. There's no entry for that. Alright, am I spelling that wrong? John. No, I'm spelling that right, I think. D U R K I N. There's no entry. For okay, I guess there's just no entry for that. All right, well, how about Sam Wilcox? Hmm, there's no listing. I thought for sure that would work. Yeah, me too. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Um. Anyone I can call? Damn it. Hmm. Well, huh? Come I on, guess we can. Get out of here. Right behind you. I don't know. Maybe we go back to Sh Harriet's place. It's open. It's open. Mrs. Sherman, hello again. Hi. You got more questions for me? Yes, I yes, do. I do. <laughs> well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. Do you know anything about this picture? I don't know the boy, but that was Mavis's living room. Okay. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Well, it is. Anything else you- Just that there's- Alright. Do you know any reporters from the New Yorker magazine? Reporters? No. God damn it. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, never heard of him. Damn it. Do you know a John Durkin? No, never heard of him. Damn it. Okay, you're no help. All right, bye. Don't mention. Well, god damn it! All right, let's go back home. Maybe I have to combine some ideas. If John Durkin was Sam's father, uh huh. It's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. Oh yeah, right. Okay, duh. Not Wilcox. I think I'll keep it as Sam Durkin for now. Alright, well, okay. That's not... Alright. Let's just look up Sam Durkin now. Hmm. There's no list. What? I thought for sure that would work. Uh... Okay. Uh... Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we can either ask the Come ghost... Let's get out. Right behind... Or oh, fucking god damn it! It's open. It's me again. Mrs. Sher Hello, you got yes. Yeah, well, I ain't. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No. Durkin, Sam Durkin. Fuck. Goodbye, Mrs. Don't man. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go talk to the ghost. You're up, Joey. I'm going in again. Yeah. All right. They want to fight? fight? I'll give them one. Hello, Joey. What are you? I need hmm. it better. Open the I door. Need you to start. Well, knock on the door, I should say. My, I'm popular <coughs> today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confusing, Sam. Wait, what? 
So, okay, but... But there's not a listing. Why, what does this having this name do for me? Have you been talking to a... Yeah, he came up and left. What did you talk about? Oh, don't know why you... All right, well... Mom, are you... You're so... Look I'm going to I'll come. Show us. I'll be... This place is... All right, bye. There's gotta be something with these blueprints. Oh, look, an ash... Maybe the kid should get a job. That... I can't make heads or tails out of... What do you want me to do? Hmm, the name... I wonder if she... Can you do anything? Seriously, nothing else to do in here? I can't... It says Seagram... I guess they're the guys who own this construct... Okay, well, hmm... Where else can I go? Well, shit. I'm back. You were gone? Okay. Uh... I guess we can ask other people about these people. Maybe? Casey. Hello there. Do you read the New Yorker? Nope. Sorry. Oh, that okay. Do you know a John Durkin? Nope. Sorry. Okay. Do you know any college kids named Sam? Sam? Nah. All right, that's that was great. Do you know a Mavis Wilcox? Nope. Sorry. Okay. Are you sure you don't know anything about the C sharps? There's a picture of them right behind you. Lots of pictures appear on that wall. I just work here. What? I don't know its entire history. Now, you mind? I got a gig to finish. For nobody? About the C-sharps. I said I don't know them. Leave it be. Leave it be. I will About never leave it be. I said leave it. God damn it. See you around. Any times. All right. Well, what do we what, show him the picture? Be like, hey, look, you're in the picture. He already knows about uh, whatever. All right, bye. I'll go ask the only per other person entire universe. Where? Here we go. Maybe you'll know it for some reason. Hi again. Hi, yours. Do you know a Mavis Wilcox? No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, no sound there. Sorry. Same result. Do you know any college kids named Sam? No, sorry. God damn it. Do you read The New Yorker? The New Yorker? No, not really my thing, you know. So you've never heard of a reporter named Mitchell, huh? Nope. Wait, what? Mitchell? Where did that come from? Thanks for the help. I might be back later. Nope. What? Oh, Jay Mitchell. Oh, maybe we can look up the New Yorker. I'm dumb. We need an address for the New Yorker. The New Yorker. Yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Oh, I'm such an idiot! All right, that's great. Good. Let's go to Midtown now. That's great. Come on, uh, let's get out of here. Right behind you. What? Why can't I go to Midtown? What is that? Wait. Uh, uh yeah. I already looked that up. Okay, well, do we call them and ask about Jay Mitchell? I guess. All right. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Yes, I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? Yes. I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. Okay, good. Progress! Hooray! Calling people on the phone. 
He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. <sighs> okay. Ch Ch jo Ch Joseph Mitchell. Oops. There are about a dozen Joseph Mitchells in New York. I'm not going to find him this way. Okay. So, but he's in... He's at the New Yorker, on, so... Let's get out of here. Right. Please, let me go to the New Yorker now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. Yay! I'm Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. Thank you. You're so kind. I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter or... Uh, I'm doing no, research. I'm just doing some research. Uh, see, you're a student. More a student of life. Uh, aren't we all? Uh -huh. So what can uh -huh. I do for you, Miss Blackwell? So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? That's a personal question for you? I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Okay. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. All right. <laughs> Do you know I about the ghosts of the promenade? Music on the Roosevelt Island promenade? Saxophone music on the promenade? I'm afraid not. I haven't been to that area since... Well, in a while. All right, that's that's. Have you heard these? Rep I'm, All right, okay. Have Just you ever heard sure. of a band called the Sea Sharks? The Sea Sharks, they were a jazz band, weren't they? Yes. Heard of them. Yes. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry, I've never actually heard them. Play. Oh come on! Not work. You just pick these things up. Have you ever heard of a the Sea Sharks? They were a jazz. Yeah. All right, okay. So, I... Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox. Yes, I remember her. Lived up town a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. Uh-huh. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What okay. was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. So you know what her son looks like. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Yep. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But That's grim. That. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. I have no ideas at all. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? Anything? Miss Blackwell is the eternal question. Well, good. I've spoken to hundreds of people over You didn't years. even do your job. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contended myself just with the what's. What? Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Are you Anything sure? Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Okay. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Okay. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yeah. uh. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis's ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Okay. Her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage, and he died several years later. Okay. But I'm afraid I know nothing else. You Do sure? You know anything about John Durkin? Oh yeah, but what about the son? Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis's son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed his son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Okay. Do you know any? I'm afraid. Maybe. Uh, Is that it? Anything else? I'm afraid. So tell me. Are you sure? I'm afraid. Have you ever? Are you sure? Heard? Yeah. Can you, sir? In my line of work. Have you? So, um, I am. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Oh. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. What? Do you know what issue it was in? 
I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died, and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. Oh my god. God damn it. I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. Bye! That didn't give me anything. At least I don't think it did. Did it? I want to talk to you. Uh huh. Let's discuss our notes. Any thoughts on our con her? Uh, she's not. Any thoughts on nothing? Spring. Damn it. Joseph Mitchell certainly is interesting. Yeah, interesting. Did you notice his typewriter? No. What about it? What about it? There was dust on it. And the paper was blank. That thing hasn't seen much use in a long time. Huh. Maybe he uses a pen and paper. Hmm. Maybe. Any other thoughts on Mr. Mitchell? I don't know. I can't get a read on the guy. Normally I'm good at reading faces, but him? He's either a born straight man or he's hiding something. Interesting. Any other thoughts? Uh, normally he's either... It's almost like I should leave a device there to record what he says. Even trickier when the dead are in family relationships are it gets even tr okay that's it for now yeah we'll talk hmm but how would you how would you do that because you go here huh. let's get right behind maybe we go back here yes twice in one evening yes Come on in, sit down Oh, I can't even access that menu. What so the? So tell me about your. I beg you. Tell me about your. Yes, I, I hope. Oh uh, my God. Do you know? I'm a Mavis. I've never. Do you know any? A broke and but. Anything. Well, okay. I think that's all. All right. You have a good night. All right. Well, shit. Okay, well, let's go. I don't know, maybe we can. Let's look at the picture again. Columbia. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. Okay, Columbia. Does that mean it's in my notes now? Maybe we need to go to Columbia University? Okay, there we go. There's a thought. Columbia University. Here's the number. Yay! Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? Uh... How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. Yay! It's time. This is the first time I asked her to do anything. You don't need to be curt with her. Is this Sam? Yeah? Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright, I'll bite. You don't sound How like do you you're on a phone. Me? You're an investigator. An oh, you're a cop, are you? No. Because my dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No, I'm not a cop. Didn't think so. Just a concerned citizen, huh? Yeah. That's right. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe Look, kid, I can see ghosts. To me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you'd know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? Not even close. What? Wait. Bye. Okay, she kept saying D, though. Oh my god, how long is this gonna take? That's hardly relevant. Connect me both, please. Darkin. Hi, Sam. Oh, you again. I just need to ask. Like I said, if so, what? what? Alright, so it was like, what? Number 3D? Or was it 4D? 
I can't remember. I think it was 40. Not even close. Oh, come on. Oh, bye. Ah, you can't skip it. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Columbia University. After how many I That's hardly real. Connect me to Salt, please. Darken. Hi. Oh. I just like I so 3D. All right. So maybe you did know. There it. we go. Thank Fucking you. finally. So what do you want to know about it? Ask about her death. What do you know about her death? It was suicide. No, it she wasn't. Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. That's not how that she works. Had every opportunity to leave. They were gonna pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She okay. Be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? I don't know. That's what they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. Okay. How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can, and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. Subtle. Ooh, mother, just crazy on wheels. Okay. Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. She was my mom. I'm not gonna lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. Uh huh. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere. Never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. Okay. It's true. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. Hmm. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day. That's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Oh, wow. Yeah, for all the good it did. Son of the decade. What? Why did that notebook update? Because of a present? What did you give your mom for Mother's Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. Oh, my God. It's been years. Just dust in the ground now. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. All right, bye. Huh. Sam got his mother a present for Mother's Day. Whatever it was, it probably got destroyed when the building was knocked down. Okay. I don't see what one happened. No, I don't see. Just, just. Maybe there's a connection, but. Just, just doing this. Maybe there's a connection. Just to make sure. No, I don't see. Okay. So I guess now I'll go back to the to the. Uh... Come on, let's get out of here. Right to the place, you. place with the thing, and then we can look for a present on the ground or something. I'm going in a yeah, yeah. All right. Did I leave the gas on? My home. Don't know what I could do. My home. That thing hasn't. Hmm. Huh, okay. Well, let's just ask her about it then. You gotta go over here and do this. Hello, Joey. What are you. I need. Hmm. It better be. Spin around in a spin. Oh, god damn I'll it. Explain later. Okay. What did that. <laughs> I can't believe. I hate. Uh, 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 good joke. Hello? Joe, what are you doing? I need hmm. it better. I need you to not start. <sighs> ah. I'm popular today. This is your son. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which present was that? Uh oh. Um, the flowers? You never gave me flowers, Sam. Damn it. No one has given me flowers in 20 years. Ah, uh, sorry. About that- Which present? Um, the scarf? Don't be silly, Sam. About which pre Um... You never gave- What would I- uh, Which present? Um... A hat. 
Sam, have you ever known me to wear a hat? No, no, sorry, sorry. What, I... Alright, bye. I'm going to go now, I'll come back. Sure, I'll be here. My home. Alright, so he will... I gotta get him to tell me what the gift was. I'm back. You were gone? Oh, uh, okay. So let's... Alright, we can... I guess we can call him again. I need to know what the fuck that gift was, damn it. Oh my god. Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct? That's hardly relevant. Connect me to Sold, please. Hi, Sam. Oh, you again. Yes, it's me. Like I said, if you knew, so what? I already been through this asshole. All right, so maybe you did know. Thank you. So what do you want to? Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. What are you talking about? I want to ask you about the fucking present. Oh my god. How how am I supposed to figure out what the present was if I can't if I can't talk to him about the present? What? I don't. I. Ah. Uh, uh, Come on, let's get out of here. Right, it hurts my head. Maybe she knows. It's open. Look, there used to be a painting Mrs. there. Sherman? Hello, you got more. Yes. Well, I ain't. Do you know any college kids named Sam? Oh my God. No. The present. Do you know any? No. Do you know any? Do you know any? Rup Okay, fine. Bye. Don't mention. All right, let's see if the reporter knows. Yes. I'm becoming Don Rapa. Come in, have it. Yeah, I guess you are popular now. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Oh. Now that you mention it, yes. Yes, tell me. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland. Yay! Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yay, notebook! Yay! Even though... Oh, okay. What was that present, maybe? It was a... I think that's all. Alright, you have... Alright, bye! Okay, let's go talk to the mom now. Jesus. Oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Switch to Joey. Let's let's. I'm going in again. Let's go on in. All right, knock. <laughs> no, don't go through the gate. Shit. You were gone. I'm going. In. Yay. Doopy doopy doop do. Hello, Joey. What are you? I need. Hmm. It better. I need you to know. Sure. My. Okay. Oh. Hi. About that present. Which present was that, Sam? The book. Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. Where is it? It's the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. What table? Right. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yes. Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. Sure, I can pick it up. I'm not oh. dead. Oh no! What? The book is gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody stole it! No. Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Tell her she's dead. It's okay, Mom. <laughs> okay? Okay? I lost your gift! I'll just Can't tell her she's dead. Because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there, and neither is the table, right? What? Think. What? The book's gone. The table's gone. The whole room is gone. Sam, Sam you're, you're awful. awful. How am I I'm awful? Upset and I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Don't, don't make, make it, it worse, worse. Please. please. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. <laughs> you don't mean that. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. 
but I don't know where to look. Under the Maybe couch. Under the sofa. No, it's not there. In the, in bathroom. the bathroom. No, I never saw it in there. Maybe it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Okay. Oh, okay, Sam. But only for you. I... I still don't see it anywhere. Alright. Let's try further down, Mom. Oh, we just went through the wall. I'm... I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, where are we? I'm scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Pull on my tie. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. <laughs> oh, where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those You're dead, lady. Tore down. You're dead. You, you made me leave, and they tore down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You okay. are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home, and then... And then you died. Then, oh, God. <gasps> there we go. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. Aha, uh -huh, tough. I'm sorry. It's horrible. I'm not sorry. Dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so... Dark? Here, pull on this tie. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. Time for you to go into my brain. <laughs> oh, my God. Nevis? It's so Right. And big. It just goes on forever. I just Infinity. Go home. Can I go home? I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a legacy. Huh, no, that was the other game. My but son I'm... hates my guts. My home is gone. My life over. I remember that too. Okay. Damn, I need that old woman choking me. The old, old woman, woman choking? Just fucking killed you? Killed me. She said she was going to help me. Uh, oh well. Just head towards it. And then... I don't know. I'm scared, but it feels right somehow. Oh, John. Sam. I'm so sorry. I guess you might Everything. see John. I don't know. I mean, Sam's still alive. I wish I could feel sorry for you. But I don't feel much of anything anymore. That's good not good. You are. Oh, it's creepy lady. Uh, Joey? Yeah, hi. Glad you're up. You. Did you. Did you save her? I did. Yeah, yeah, sure. We saved her. Joey? Is she talking to you? Yeah, go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Mavis told me she was killed by an old woman. Was that you? Uh. I save! Just like you! Who are you? I am the Countess. The Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. Okay. I saved them. I helped them. I... I'm sorry. Hey, get uh... back here. Don't just stand there. Let's get after her. Wait, what? This, She's this... pretty spry for an old lady. <laughs> spry my foot. You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not this again. I'm not moving from this spot. I'm not moving. Uh, of course you're not moving not from moving. this spot until you have your fucking cigarette. I can't even look at my notes. Oh... Uh... Well, whatever, we sent someone 
Now we just gotta figure out the jazz musician. Oh. 